Hey everyone, Andy Holt here. Okay, it's Easter Sunday morning and what better way to start the morning than with another cooking video. I know you've seen all my other videos about all the other stuff, but these are the ones that we really want to see. And today's a treat because what do we usually do at Easter? Easter eggs, chocolate, all that sugar. Now, if you're like me and you don't want to eat all that sugar and, and, and there is a way around it, and I'm going to make today um, like chocolate truffle fat bombs, which uh, taste better than any, any Easter egg. They're almost like Belgian chocolate and you can really, really taste it. Uh, but they're also like quite high in fat. They're sort of 70 odd, 80 percent fat, uh, no sugar in them whatsoever. Um, some of the great uses of these, if you've got kids, you can send them into school. I know my son's um, teacher says no chocolate, nothing like that. So when they see chocolate, it's like, oh no, you're not having that for a snack. And I have to remind him to tell his teacher that there's zero sugar in these and they're actually quite, quite okay to eat. Um, so you can do that. If you are going to send them into school, by the way, I'm going to put pecan nuts in today. Do not put nuts in. Well, you have to check with your school, but most schools will, you know, they just don't take the risk on nuts now with allergies. So drop the nuts, but everything else is okay. Okay, so what do we need? Soft cheese, like full fat, I go for none of that low fat stuff. So is what you'll find is supermarkets own brand is actually better than, uh, so a full sort of tub of, soft cheese say less than about a third of a block of i use organic butter so a third of a block of butter a few tablespoons about about three tablespoons of this is 100 percent cocoa it's um totally unsweetened 100 percent so there's zero sugar in that uh pecans obviously i'm going to actually blend pecans so they go into like quite fine that's just to add a bit of texture. Like I said, these are optional. If, um, to finish them, we roll them in cocoa. And the one extra thing that I need, I know, instead of sugar, you've got to sweeten it with something erythritol. Perfect, obviously natural. Okay, so let's get started. So we take a mixing bowl. I'm gonna... I've just got like liquid butter here now. Just pour that in. Feels a bit warm at first, but... And all we're going to do is just, it just, the problem with the warm butter now, it's going to take a lot longer for these to solidify and cool down. Um, but I find it, I'm, I just hate mixing with solid butter. So look how quick that mixes down now. Okay, so next, just put, you want about three, three tablespoons of, this cacao, but I, I've only got like a normal spoon, so I'm gonna put a little bit more in, mix that in. Now this, obviously this stuff is extremely bitter. This is why we put in the erythritol to sweeten it. So as you can see now, that's starting to get into like a solid, I don't know if you can see that, it's like a chocolatey mix. Uh, just. Nearly done. There you go. A couple of tablespoons of erythritol, which is the best sub sugar substitute. Is it natural? And makes it taste fantastic. Uh, so there you go, chocolatey mix. Right, pecans. And so I'm going to use a little blender. You've got this kind of like nutty mix, just <laughs> put a load of that in there. Okay. Mix that again. Oh, it's getting quite hard now already. So now, as you can see, it's like a chocolatey, quite hard paste. Next, take some of the, I want the, I just get a bowl and put these, it's like coconut flour, put that in a bowl, take a plate, you want 
to do is just get sight about that much right, and just drop it in there like that just cover it because you, your hands will get very very but if you just cover it with the the coconut now it's been quite a long time perfecting these but essentially just and then I'm just dropping them on a plate like that there's another one pop it in there cover it as soon as you cover it uh, it's not sticky <laughs> um, now you can make, right we've got to be careful with these I would make them smaller than I have because they are very very dense in calories don't forget if these are sort of you know 80 percent 70 80 percent fat fat is nine calories per gram um, so you can imagine you know carbs and carbohydrates and protein are only four calories a gram there's going to be loads of calories in these so only have one a day they're really addictive because they taste really nice and they're there to sort of supplement your diet so try and only have one a day otherwise you will get huge if you have more than one a day um, but I think you get less huge than eating Easter eggs so there's the good thing <laughs> so once you've finished you end up with about well I've got 10 there you could probably make 12 if you make them a bit smaller than I do all you have to do is put these in the fridge for about an hour or maybe a bit longer or if you want to turbocharge it put them in the freezer just to allow them to set okay so after your fat bonds have been in the fridge for an hour or so they come out well they're just the same they're just harder so you know and then you just try one i mean mm, mm, absolutely delightful very rich like a truffle you know really creamy mm. what i want to do now is have another one but as i say only have one a day because the you know the the very addictive but the really really dense in calories so hope you like that video don't forget to subscribe and see you all next time <laughs>